My name is Amanda Johnson, and I'm the co-founder and COO of Midtick Cosmetics. And today, I'm going to take you through my easy, breezy, everyday beauty routine. And we're going to start with the basics, foundation. So I'm going to start with the Skin by Midtick Foundation Stick in M30. Um, there are four buckets of shades. So there's light, tan, medium, deep. And for my skin tone, I'm in the medium. So as I'm putting this on, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the brand. So Minted is short for pigmented, and Minted celebrates women of all hues. So it's really about everyday beauty for everyday women. So once I get a good layer of the Minted stick all over my face, then I'm just going to buff it in. This is called Skin by Minted Foundation. And it really is supposed to mimic skin. So it is hydrating, it is glowing, you're gonna feel great after because we all know healthy skin is hydrated skin. So it blends in really well. It's very, very blendable formula and it's just gonna look like you but better. So now I just look retouched slightly, but I have my Skin by Minted on. Um, and then in that same line, you can use a Skin by Minted stick for your concealer. So for my concealer, I'm T20, and I use the shade in the tan bucket. So I like to think of the four shade buckets for our foundation stick. Uh, really is, if you're light to fair, use light. If you're on the caramel side, use tan. If you're more like me, use medium. And then if you are deeper than me, I would use the rich. But what's great about it is, as you can see, because it is so blendable, even if you make a mistake and you pick the wrong shade, you'll be able to ease it in. And for all the women out there who say, oh, I don't know how to do concealer, I don't want it to look cakey, this is the formula for you. Because again, because it's so skin-like, it's just going to melt into your skin. And you can use the same buffing brush to just lightly blend it in. So now I look much more awake <laughs> than I looked before. Um, it's not gonna settle in any fine lines and wrinkles. It's just going to lightly sit on the skin and then slowly melt. It's gonna look great. So if you're like me and you're oily, you definitely wanna set with some loose setting powder. But I encourage everyone to try the setting powder. So from Minted, we call it our Skin Silk Loose Setting Powder because it really is just like that. As you can see, it's like silk. So our powder has been so finely ground that, and I'll show you one side and then the other, it perfectly acts as a smoother on the skin. So it'll help you blend in your foundation and your concealer. It's a great product for that. And so when my co-founder and I were thinking about the brand and, and how we wanted to create our loose setting powder, we really thought about our needs. We want a setting powder that really is just gonna help us blend our makeup because you shouldn't have to be a professional for makeup to work for you. It should work for everyone. So as you can see, one side of my face is still more dewy from the foundation. And then this side of my face has been set with the powder. So you can use as much or as little powder as you want. I'm just gonna even it out. And for any other oily girls like me, I would encourage you to buff in just a little more than you think. So after that, I've set my face now. I'm concealed and I'm powdered. Now it's time for some blush. I love color. I grew up in the South and for me, when it comes to blush, uh, more is more. I love the color. So first I'm gonna start off with Peach for the Stars. Now what's great about this blush shade, first off it comes in this super cute little compact. Um, so I can just put it, pull it out anytime. But it has these gold flecks in it. So instantly I look bronzed and awake. I look golden, so you can see one side versus the other. I'm just so much brighter and I just look sun-kissed. And so I want to do it on this side. And I'm all about using the same brush, again, to make things easy. So this is the Minted Loose Setting Powder Brush, which you can buy as a duo with the Loose Setting Powder. And then I also use it as my blush brush. And you just wanna buff it in 
Um, and I also like to add a little more color to it. So then I'll pop a little, this is buried away. This is another minted blush. I'll just do a little, and a little goes a long way because remember minted is short for pigmented. A little on the apple here and you see it, the shade is just getting that much richer in color. I just like a little pop of color on the face. It really helps to define and frame the face when you're not gonna wear that much makeup. So in my everyday look, I'm not wearing that much makeup, but I have foundation on, I have powder on, and then I have on two shades of blush that's really giving me that pop. So my little trick for the everyday face, so you don't have to worry about lots of product all the time, is to go back in with one of your blushes and put it on as eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use the shade Clay Too Much, which is another minted blush shade play too much. It's a beautiful bronzy shade. It works well on everybody. I would say all of these colors work well on every skin tone. And I'm just going to put a little on and just buff it all over. This is an easy everyday look. I just want my eyes to look defined. Give them some color too. I'm all about adding color everywhere. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. There we go, now I've defined my eyes. Okay, so I've done the rest of my eyes. I've put on some eyeliner, I've put on some mascara, I've defined my brows a little bit. So really I feel like all of those things help frame my face and really help frame all the color that we just added. And so last but not least, I need to put a little color on my lips and pop it. So I love to use our liquid lipstick collection. I'm using the blacker, the berry shade. It's one of our most popular shades, and I'll show you why, because it really does add a great pop of color, and the formula is not too drying. So we've all had those liquid lipsticks where it is drying your whole lip out, and you just feel like the color is seeping into every crevice on your lips. That is not so with this shade. Not only is it gonna give you a great pop of color, as you can see as I put it on, it is going to stay on the lips, help frame your face, and give you some more shades, give you some more color. So this is my everyday face, everyday easy peasy face. We did this in like five minutes. So let's go over what we did. We used the Skin by Minted Foundation Stick as our base. I used M30. Then we use the Skin by Minted Foundation Stick in T20 for my concealer. What I would say is go about five shades lighter for your concealer if you need to. Then we set all that with the Skin Silk Loose Setting Powder. I set in medium deep, but there are two other shades. And then we went crazy with the blush. So first, we use the Peach for the Stars to give us that great peachy golden glow. Then we added a little buried, buried away on top for some depth of color, just to give yourself a little contrast. And then on the eyes, we did Clay Too Much. That's the eyeshadow I'm using. So again, blush is so versatile. Feel free to play with it all over your face. And then last, but certainly not least, we use Blacker the Berry on our lips for the liquid lipstick. And I would say, I think this is a great, everyday look. It was super easy to do and I encourage you to try something too.